The Australasian bittern is a very rare water bird. It's currently uh, listed as one of the top threatened species in the country. We knew that many of these birds were coming into rice crops in the Southern Riverina for a number of years. So through the millennium drought, the population of these birds began to crash. And in response to that, BirdLife Australia contacted me in my connection to the rice industry to see if we could begin to survey the birds and get an understanding of what was happening in the rice habitat situation. Support for our rice work enabled us to purchase thermal drone technology to monitor bittens in rice. For this project, funding through the National Land Care Program allowed us to trial the technology in the Millerwell wetlands, where populations are monitored by wading through the wetlands, locating the calls of the male bittens, and estimating the number of connected nesting females. The actual drone itself simultaneously takes a thermal shot and a RBG image as it flies, so you've got a reference across the two. But the quality of both the thermal images and the RBG images is directly dependent on temperature and also light for collecting good images. So there's some real challenges. One stage we had thousands of images to cross-check against thermal to the actual picture itself. I think we refined the technique after many flights, many hours of flying, to have a good understanding of how to capture the best possible images and understand the weather conditions. And we've gone down the path now of reducing the number of images and started to focus on particular shapes. We did not find uh, a bit nest with the thermal camera. The camera has not got the capability to pick up heat that could be three metres below the top of the vegetation height. But we were able to use the thermal camera and look at heat signatures to then locate individual bitterns in the wetland habitats and also to help guide a team to locate bitterns from further satellite tracking. Our team support the idea of working collaboratively across all wetland habitats to try and assist to learn and help recover the population of this species. And I think we need to learn as much as we can about what creates the most prey and the best habitat and really improve the plight of this species.